from the Sony Pictures Studios, this is Jeopardy! Hello, it's time for Jeopardy! Good luck to all our players. Would you like to see the first round categories? Here goes. Crossword clues A. Bodies of water. Weather. World religions. Sports women. Celebrities' middle names. All right, player one, let's get going. <laughs> Crocodile Cousin, nine letters. Player one. Correct. All right, pick again. Guinevere's Groom, six letters. Here is the correct response. All right, pick again. This storm's name is derived from Spanish tronada, meaning thunderstorm. Player one. Right you are. You're in first place all by yourself. All right, pick again. Atmospheric pressure reaches its lowest point in this less cloudy central region of a hurricane. Player three. You are correct. Player three. The most severe of these dry spells in the 20th century affected Africa's Sahel region. Player one. That's it. Your choice, player one. The aneroid type of this instrument measures the effect of air pressure on a metal chamber. Here is the correct response. Player one, it's your turn. A buran is the Russian equivalent of this North American storm characterized by blowing snow. Player one. That's it exactly. All right, pick again. Middle name shared by Jamie Curtis and Kathy Gifford. Player one. You are correct. All right, pick again. Bridget Fonda's middle name. It's her famous aunt's first name. Player one. That's it. All right, pick again. 
The Gulf of Mexico and the Gulf of St. Lawrence are arms of this ocean. Player three. To be sure. Player three, what'll it be? This South American river carries more water than any other in the world. Player one. That's it. All right, player one. In China, it's officially known as Changjiang, or Long River. Player two. Good guess, but that's incorrect, unfortunately. Here is the correct response. Okay, contestant one. The Ebro is this country's only major river to flow into the Mediterranean Sea. Player one. The Swedish islands of Gotland and Oland lie in this sea. Player three. Why, yes. You're not far back now. It's your turn, player. This faith of about 80% of India's population has no single founder or creed. Player three. Yes. All right, pick again. Both Sunnis and Shiites hold Fatima, his daughter by Khadija, in great reverence. All right, pick again. This is the common term for the Roman Catholic sacrament of penance or reconciliation. Player two. Why, yes. Player two, what'll it be? This woman, nicknamed Babe, was an all-American high school basketball player at age 16. Player two. Yes. All right, pick again. Maria Bueno won 12 Grand Slam doubles crowns in this sport in spite of a long bout with hepatitis. Player one. Yes. Player one, your turn. Answer. Here go. Player one, please make your wish. Desiree was the middle name of this star who married a man named Desi. Player one. Good guess, but that's wrong. Here is the correct response. All right, pick again.
It's a gem of a middle name for actor Lou Phillips. Player one. To be sure. All right, pick again. It's the middle name of Sarah Parker, who went on a honeymoon in Vegas. Player one. That's right. All right, pick again. Gourmet's Garment. Five letters. Player one. That's right. All right, pick again. Oak Offspring. Five letters. Player two. That's it, exactly. What'll it be, player two? In September 1995, this American figure skater married her agent, Jerry Solomon. Player two? No, that's incorrect. Player one? Yes. Your choice, player one. Gorgeous Gardener. Three letters. Here is the correct response. It's your turn, player one. In 1992, she became the first winner of back-to-back -back Olympic gold medals in the heptathlon. Player two? You are correct. Player two, your In 1984, Joan Benoit became the first female Olympic gold medalist in this race. Player three. No, I'm sorry. Player two? That's it. All right, pick again. Ching Tu, our pure land, is one of the most influential forms of the Mahayana branch of this faith. Player two? Yes, indeed. And to finish the board, these nomadic people, the Ram, are monotheistic and worship a god named Del. Player two? You are correct. Well, that brings us to the end of the first round. Let's look at the total scores so far. Let's move on to double jump.
Now here are the categories for the double jeopardy. Transportation. USA. European food and drink. Archaeology. Religion. Movie trivia. Okay, player three, you start us off. Alabastrons are ancient onion jars, often made of this, hence their name. Player three? Also called the Our Father, it begins, Our Father which art in heaven. Player one? Yes. Player one, you choose. In May 1995, this company delivered its first 777. Player three. You are correct. Player three. In 1979, Israel sent its first cargo ship through this waterway. Player three. That's right. All right, pick again. This runnerless sled was first used by North American Indians to haul supplies and game over the snow. Player three. Yes. All right, pick again. The answer is a pretty little daily double. Player three, you have your wager, please. This type of aircraft is sometimes called a sailplane. Take a look at your monitor. Player three. Regrettably, no. Here is the correct response. All right, pick again. It's the name shared by an early warship propelled by oars and the kitchen of a boat or ship. Player two? Yes, indeed. It's your turn, player two. At least 120 of these hot water spouts in Yellowstone National Park have names, including Giant and Clepsydra. Player one? To be sure. Player one, your turn. He remarked to Esther Muir in a day at the races, if I hold you any closer, I'll be in back of you. Player three. No, I'm sorry. Here is the correct response. What'll it be, player one?
North and south sections of I-95 join at the eight-lane Fort McHenry Tunnel in this city. Player three. That's right. Player three. The Atchafalaya Floodway and the Bonnet Carey Spillway help control flooding in this southern state. Player three. Right you are. All right, pick again. The easternmost point of this state's outer banks is on Cape Hatteras National Seashore. Player three. Why, yes. All right, pick again. Meaning foot of the mountain, it's the name of the area between the Blue Ridge Mountains and the Atlantic Ocean. All right, pick again. How Howdy is a Scottish dish of boiled chicken served with spinach and a poached one of these. Player one. That's it. Player one, it's your turn. In 1995, Gordon B. Hinckley was ordained as the 15th president of this Utah-based church. Here is the correct response. Player one. The state form of this religion was disestablished in Japan after World War II. Player one. No, too bad. Here is the correct response. All right, pick again. Gundel, a famous restaurant in this Hungarian capital, is noted for its crepes in chocolate sauce. Player two? Yes, indeed. Player two? Bisteca a la Fiorentina, a grilled steak dish, is a specialty of this Italian city. Player two? Good guess, but that's wrong. Player one? Good guess, but that's incorrect, unfortunately. Here is the correct response. It's your turn, player two. Leiden cheese produced in this low country is flavored with cumin and caraway seeds. Player two. You are correct. All right, pick again. The confection Tocino di Cielo, or Heavenly Bacon, is a specialty of this country.
Here is the correct response. All right, pick again. Jeff Goldblum played a party guest in this quirky comedy that won Diane Keaton an Oscar. Player three. Correct. Contestant three, it's your turn. Sebastian Cabot provided the voice of Bagheera the Panther for this 1967 animated Disney film. Player one. you choose. Martin Landau played Rufio and Carol O'Connor played Casca in this 1963 Elizabeth Taylor extravaganza. Player two? Why, yes. Player two, it's your turn. Clint Eastwood played this outlaw in a 1976 film based on the novel Gone to Texas. Player two? It's the term for labyrinthine subterranean cemeteries, such as the ones in Rome. Player three. That's correct. That takes you into second place. Player three, your turn. Human sacrifices were once thrown into the cenote, or sacred well, at Chichen Itza in this country. Player one. Yes, but no. Player two? That's it, exactly. Player two? Greek statues of this creature often have women's heads and wings, unlike the monument at Giza. Player three? That's correct. What will it be, player three? He uncovered tombs of Mycenaean kings in 1876, a few years after finding ancient Troy. Here is the correct response. Player three, your turn. One of the five pillars, or primary duties of Islam, is to fast during this month. Player three. Yes. And to finish the board. The Trimurti, or trinity of Hindu gods, consists of Brahma, Shiva, and this one. Anybody? That's the end of Double Jeopardy. Let's take a look at the scores. Take a look at the category for Final Jeopardy. U.S. History. Player one, please make your wager.
Player three, could we have your wager, please? Player two, your wager, please. All right, here's the answer. Good luck. Let's see how everyone did. Thanks, Johnny. Player one, your question? Sorry, that's incorrect. Let's see how much it cost you. Yeah, you'll get them next time. Your question, player three. Oh, sorry, that's incorrect. How much did it cost? Player two, your question. Oh, sorry, that's incorrect. How much did it cost? Sometimes you get a tough one. Here is the correct response. Congratulations, Player 3. You're the Jeopardy! champion. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Hope you had a good time. So long, everybody. Here are the high scores for all the game modes.